Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to set up the WiseCam OG, which just came out in 2023. It's an update from the original WiseCam while still maintaining that lower price point. So the first thing we need to do to get this set up is plug in the power cord and the power adapter. So we're going to plug those in, and then you can see it plugs in to this little port on the back of the WiseCam OG. Now, what is nice about the WiseCam OG is that this is weather resistant rated, which means that you can place it outside or inside whatever you prefer. Let's plug this in. And we heard that the WiseCam OG just told us it's ready to connect. So let's get our cell phone out and start getting this set up. Now that our camera is powered up, we're ready to get it installed on the app. In order to do so, you need the Wise app. So if you haven't downloaded the Wise app, do so now and set up a username and password and log in. This is the home screen for the Wise app, and we're ready to set up our WiseCam OG. And all we're gonna do is click in the upper left-hand corner on the plus symbol here. Then we're going to click add a device. Now we need to choose what we're setting up. We're setting up a camera, so we click on that right there. Then we've got multiple options for what we're going to set up. We're setting up a WiseCam OG, so we're going to click that option right here. It says plug your WiseCam OG into a power outlet. We're going to click next. Press setup under the camera. So on the underside of the camera, there are a couple buttons. We've got our micro SD card slot, and then we have our setup button. We're just going to press the setup button. So I ready click that, connect. and it says ready to connect. And the status light is flashing red, which means we're ready to connect. So click it said ready to connect, and click begin setup. Now it's searching for our device. Here we need to select our network and add our device. Enter your password and click connect. Connecting to network. It said connecting to network and now it wi says connected. our Wi-Fi is connected. Setup complete. Great, our WiseCam OG is set up, and now we can choose what we're going to call this. So I'm gonna call it a pet cam, and I'm going to click finish. It says cam plus, we're going to click no thanks for now. And I'm going to click maybe later. All WiseCam OG are set up, and click complete. It's asking us to update the firmware, so we're going to click update now. It says you will have picture-in-picture -picture PIP on the WiseCam OG product page. PIP lets you view another WiseCam OG easily and switch between live streams with a tap. You can hide it to the right side. You can also move to the sub view anywhere you want. And it says live stream. So let's click let's start. Great, we've got our live stream of the WiseCam right here. You can see my hand in the background. And if you want, you can click right here, and that's going to give you your picture in picture with those other Wise Cams. So, overall, the resolution on this Wise Cam OG is pretty good. You can see it right here, it is 1080p HD, and it also has motion detection, it has a built in uh, microphone as well as a speaker so you have two-way communication it does have night vision it works indoors or out and you do need to plug it in with the provided power adapter let's take a look at some of the features so you can see that it is currently streaming the live view you can see the camera here and what's going on and me waving my hand so that's really cool i'm just in the wise app and this is the screen that popped up after we connected it now the first feature we have over here is SD card and I don't have an SD card in there currently. However, this does have a port to allow you to insert a micro SD card right here. And what you can do then is if you have that micro SD card is you can store video footage locally right to the camera when you take a picture or record something and then you can have a backup locally and you could use the cloud service if you wanted to as well, but it doesn't cost anything to store the video footage locally with the WiseCam OG 
if you've got that micro SD card inserted. Now the next thing we've got here is take a photo and we can take a photo and it will save that. We can record a video. So if I was watching a live view and I wanted to record this, I could, it gives you a timer of how long it's recording. I'm going to click stop here. Then uh, I recommend you turn your volume down a little bit. We've got a siren here and you can hear that go off. So if you wanted to alert an intruder, you could do so as well. You can view the album of different events and pictures that you've taken right here. You've also got a time lapse option, but you need the micro SD card in order to do that. So we're gonna click cancel for right now, but you could put a micro SD card in there. If you wanted some privacy, you could click right here and that would turn this off and then you wouldn't have a camera on anymore, but let's turn ours back on. We've got the live stream up. And when we click right here, we've got some other options here. You can see the current recording rate. Um, also over here, you've got a light, so I can click that on and you can see the light that turned on there. So that's gonna help you out with day and night vision. Then you've got your microphone here and I'm gonna click don't allow now because otherwise we're going to uh, get some feedback here. And then you can also have your speaker on which would allow two-way communication. So the Wisecam OG itself does have a built-in speaker and a built-in microphone. It also has a built-in uh, status light down here and LED illuminators, as well as that spotlight or nighttime light that's built in there at the top that we just turned on. And if you wanted to, when you click right here, you can actually zoom into anything you want. So uh, let's see, I thought I had a cup in the background there and you can also rotate this. So let's zoom way, way out and you can see what's going on there, but I could zoom in and there you can see that banana in the background right there or you can see what's going on right here at coffee shop in Idaho there and you can zoom in and out uh, with that as well as change the orientation. So let's click back here and uh, get this back to a more normal orientation there. And that's that picture in picture that they're talking about. If you wanted to have multiple live stream views, you can do so. So it is nice that you've got all those features right here on the uh, live stream view itself. And then if you wanted to hide this, you could, or you could look at your recent events down here. So we've got a motion detected. Now, if I wanted to look at some of the other settings of the Wisecam OG, I click up here into settings and I can change my name. I can go into the detection settings and I can set my motion detection sensitivity from low to high. I can have detection zones. Um, so if I click right here, then I can create different blocks for detection zones. So if I only wanna be alerted in a certain area, I could do that. We'll just click uh, clear for now, but you could click save if you wanted to do that, or you could turn this off completely. So we'll leave it off for right now. You've got motion tagging. So if you click that on, it will tag uh, motion events. You've got sound detection sensitivity from low to high, and we can go back now. Here in event recording, we click on this and it says detects motion and detects sound, and then it will have that recorded as an event in there. So it's gonna record whenever motion is detected or sound is detected. And then you can click in smart detection here and you can have it detect and filter when a person is detected, but you do need that cam plus, which does cost you $19 a year if you wanna do that. So I'm gonna X out of that, but you could do person, pet, vehicle, or package and friendly faces. So some features that are available typically only on higher end cameras, you do get with the Wise OG, but you do then have to pay a subscription. If you just want to use it with the SD card, then you don't need to pay for that subscription, but you're still getting video recording and you don't have some of those other features. However, it's a great value prop. If you don't pay for that recording, you don't have any monthly cost. Then you can click here and you can get notifications. So you have those on uh, motion events, sound events. You might've seen some motion events pop up here uh, because I'm right in front of the camera while I'm recording this. You've got alarm settings. So you have a smoke alarm sound or a CO alarm. If the camera hears smoke or CO, it will then alert you uh, in a notification to let you know something's going on. So if you're away from your house, that's a nice feature to have. Then you've got advanced settings here. So let's click on that. You can record to your SD card. If you've got it, you can manage your SD card. You've got night vision, auto on or off. I usually just leave it on auto. You've got your camera status lights. I like to turn those off um, and then just let it record anyways. You've got night vision IR lights, so let's leave those on. Timestamp, rotate image, 180. And that's nice because uh, this mounts, you can actually 
um, use this mount. It's got two screw holes. You could mount it on a wall, but you could also mount it upside down, like on a ceiling if you wanted to. Um, so it is nice that it rotates the uh, camera vision 180 degrees if you want that, if you had this mounted upside down, so you don't have to worry about that. Then you've got Show Wise logo. You've got Record Sound. We want all those on. And then you can sync the time. We're going to go back. But you can see there's a ton of settings in here. We've also got our spotlight settings, and we'll turn that on. It says automatically it will turn on the spotlight when camera detects motion in very low light. So that's nice. We'll leave that on. And then you've got rules, sharing, and device info. If we go in here to rules. It says create a rule. You can have a preset rule, a schedule, or a device trigger, or location triggers and shortcuts. We're going to skip through those for right now. But that is pretty much all of the settings you've got for this. You can also share this device. If you've got another family member, an account you want to share your WISE account with, you can do that as well. But we're not going to do that for right now. So overall, the WiseCam OG, I'm pretty impressed uh, with this for the price. It's an updated take on their older or original version of their WiseCam. And WiseCam OG stands for WiseCam Original Gangster. Um, so an update from that original cam, which came in at a low price point and was very popular. So what I like about this is that it does have the 1080 HD. This can be placed outside or inside because it is water resistant. And you can see it does have this sealed cord connection here. It has a built-in speaker. It's got a built-in microphone for two-way communication. It's got that built-in SD card port if you want that. You can pay for the additional features if you want to have the cloud additional recording. You can do that, and that's uh, pretty low cost uh, right now. I said uh, $19.99 for a year of uh, that digital recording service. So that's a, a really good value when you compare it to some of the other options out there. I like that you can mount this uh, anywhere. You've got this mount and you can adjust it however you want it to go up or down. Uh, we can angle it like that and then you just tighten this little screw right there. Um, I do like that you've got both the day and night vision as well as motion detection and that it is color day and night vision, which is really great for identifying things. And overall, uh, I would say that the picture is a lot better than I would have expected it to be for the price point. So that is something that is going for the WiseCam OG. So thank you for watching this video on how to set up your WiseCam OG. If you enjoyed this video, please give us that thumbs up, subscribe, or click any of the links below if you want to support us. We've got some merch down there that helps support the channel, as well as several different products that do help support this channel. So check that out in the links down below. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.